This place is really cool. It should have been on my bucket list. There's all these mini people everywhere. Basically, I'm becoming my own Barbie. This is called Ultimate Bucket List. We're all going to choose items from our bucket list to determine what belongs on the ultimate bucket list. Things that everyone should try to do before, you know, they kick the bucket. We are in Hollywood. Hollywood! Oh. Did you get that on camera? The home of movies and it's summertime. What better thing to do in the summer than go see a movie? Joe Ball, what on your bucket list is movie themed? Let's see it. Have a film made about me going to the moon. Anything a bit more doable? Yeah. Become a star. <laughs> Become a star? Yeah. Not gonna happen. I want to do that. Become a monster? Become a movie monster. Yeah. Oh. Can we do that? I want to be a monster. I just want to know what I would look like if I was scary. I've got a friendly face. Curse this friendly face. I'm George Minky. I'm a professional makeup artist here at EI, a school of professional makeup. I heard you wanted to be turned to a monster, right? I've been doing this for uh, 10 years now, but I've been into it since I was a young kid. You know? When I saw American Wolf in London, I, I mean, a man turned into a wolf right there in the camera in the living room. I love the ugly. Yeah. I like going to scary films. Like I like taking my partner to a scary film because he's going to hug you and say it's, it's okay, it's fine. And, and it was because Nemo found his daddy. Um, Joke? Well, I know some people can get allergic reactions to film makeup. It's safe though, isn't it? Well, uh -huh. well it'll be interesting if that happens. So Joe's getting made into a monster. What do we do? You can actually cheer. And cheer? Yeah, clap. What are we going to do? Cool, Joe. Like a spa day, but we're going to turn you ugly. It's a Joe day, basically. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm going to FaceTime my mum. To be honest, I'm just quite pleased that something on his bucket list is doable. There's just complete nonsense on there. He's written, eat breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And to be honest, he eats breakfast all the time. So he's probably achieved a lot of the things on his list without knowing. First, we're gonna prep your skin. You know, it doesn't get allergic reactions or anything like that. Then, uh, we're gonna fit this. See if it fits you, if I have to do adjustments. Are we gonna glue it? Glue, put glue on my face. Actually, your eyebrows. Then we're gonna apply the prosthetic. But I want it to get off later. I want it to, don't I, want it. Well, maybe. Oh, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> yeah, you can open your eyes. Oh, my God. Then uh, we're going to paint it. What is that? <laughs> so <Somewhere. laughs> I look like a bull bag, but in a good way. What should my name be? Charles. They call me Charles. Mm -hmm. Charles likes caramel lattes. Charles. I feel transformed, George. What have you done? Answer the phone, mother. Hello. Uh, what have you done to yourself? Horrible. <laughs> what? Huh? Where are you? What? Yes. Love you. What? What? Oh, that was stressful. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. It was great, wasn't it? What, I loved Charles. <laughs> right. oh, what about Joe? Joe's okay. Okay. But Charles. Charles. <laughs> Do you want to know what we're doing next? So you wanted to be a monster in a movie. I yeah. want to be the action star in a movie. I went on a date to an action movie. Then again, every every date I go on, there's a bit of action. Joke? So in the movie theater. I just thought of it then. Swords, bats, rolls, punches. It's gonna be something do aggressive. We're going to stunt school. No. We're gonna learn some stunts. Can I get a body double? Nicolas Cage.
Hey, my name is Peter Lee Thomas. I am a martial artist, stunt performer. Can we ask what movies you've worked on? At the moment, we just uh, finished helping Halle Berry prepare for John Wick 3. He's like training Halle Berry. We're in LA, like I might like, need my star sighting. He's got some weird stuff, this guy. I saw him bring out a gun. Stunts like falling out of a window. Or I have. I used to work um, solely as a stunt performer. Because we were going to have you fall off something, no. fall out of a building or no. something. Who wouldn't want to do stunt school? We're going to set him on fire and then we're going to just launch yeah. him off the building. It's okay. perfect. No, okay. We're not going to jump out. I'm not going to jump. I think he's chosen this just to make me feel uncomfortable and it's worked. Have you seen the guy? He's ripped. Rich wants to be like this Peter guy. When you have to do 20 takes of a certain movement, you don't have the fitness. You have nothing. We're gonna make sure we do that. <laughs> so hopefully you didn't have a heavy lunch. I had two burgers. Oh, perfect. If anyone's gonna pass out, it's gonna be me. So we're gonna first start off with a, just a general warm up. Regret the burgers. Right cross. Right? Makes it awesome. I'm gonna f*** it myself. <laughs> It's not what I signed up for. We're gonna learn how to slip, how to bob and weave. Very nice. Oh, giant. Oh, good. <laughs> so really how to sell a punch. Now take the reaction, ready? So if you're in the next Rocky movie, this is the stuff that you need to learn. And yeah. It's a knockout. <laughs> and then we're gonna maybe play with some swords. Oh! Body four. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Uh, what about disarming a gun? Absolutely. <laughs> and then have it from here. This was awesome. Give it a shot. What's my motivation? Oh my god, <laughs> that was so quick. <laughs> Pissy oh, toilet. Yes! This is the saying. I look like a fat Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rich is trying to impress the guy. Quite like to be friends with him. Just be a cool, cool guy to hang out with. And I don't think the guy is impressed. Oh, I'm exhausted. Yeah. He was very cool. Such smooth skin. <laughs> you think he was impressed? No. What are we doing? It's yours. Oh, it's mine. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you a clue. Superman. Oh. Superwoman. We're gonna become action figures. Yes. You're gonna become your very own action figure in that and that. This figure. is me as an action figure. That's you. You're gonna be like a Clark Kent. Yes. You're the one from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What? I had a crush on Raphael. Wait, you had a crush Wait. on Raphael? <laughs> I just... had a crush on a massive turtle. <laughs> hey, welcome to Doom. I'm Colin Cable, and I'm the store manager here at Doom 3D here in Los Angeles. We capture memories of you. Action figures, like a little 3D volumetric photo of you. Or Barbies. This one's me right here. Hello, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> do we basically get printed? What we do is we have our 3D scanner here. It's gonna be okay. the duplicator. Because I've always associated dupe as a... Well, there is a dispensary down the block, so... <laughs> they get a little mixed up. <laughs> It's pretty much a uh, 3D photo of yourself. What advice do you tell people when they come to get their dupe done? I say be creative. You want to express yourself and make sure it represents, you know, you as, as unique as you are. Because it is a very, like, sentimental product where you're capturing this moment in time. We're here at Doob. I thought I was going to be sculpted. All the best movie stars have their own action figure. Think Avengers, Star Wars, Harry Potter. I'm feeling a bit self-conscious. I don't know what I look like from here. So who paints it? So it's actually printed right into the printer. It's a full CMYK ink injection. So okay. it's completely photorealistic of what you're wearing. I should have dressed up. Uh, I told you, Beth, what's the most superhero-like outfit? And I was like, obviously a red jumpsuit, put on a cape. Maybe like a band. Didn't have those in my closet, so instead I made my hair really curly. Says a lot about her wanting a model of herself. Joe is obviously gonna do something weird to try to hide his chin. Maybe I might just sort of do that. Sort of thinking. This is really cool. I'm just excited to have it. It should have been on my bucket list. I just want to be an action figure slash Barbie, but we won't tell Rich and Joe that. That they're about to become Barbies. We'll have you stand in the duplicator. 
I'm feeling the pressure. You strike your pose. We'll count down. One, two, three. Click of a button, it captures all 54 images. You're not as grumpy as I thought you were going to go with it. And then from there, we send it to our data team, and they turn it to a volumetric photo. From there, we can 3D print it, and then you have your little figure. Wow. So it takes about two, three weeks to get it in the mail. Waffle's pretty excited right now. Oh, weird. Yeah. Look at this. That's me. Oh my goodness. That's weird. That is me. That is me. The detail is amazing. It's beautiful. Every single crease, look at every single crease. That bump. I've never seen my bum before. <laughs> this is a great conversation start. Like how weird is that if you arrive at someone's house and they just have a thing of themselves? It's a little vain, isn't it? It's also really cool. Hug. It's mini dad. <laughs> <No, no. laughs> We know what we're doing. We need to decide what belongs on the ultimate bucket list. Stage makeup, we turn you into a monster, which was actually pretty amazing. All right. <laughs> Stunt guy hasn't accepted my friend request, so not as amazing as I originally thought he was. Move on. I loved all of them, man. Rach, what do you think? You're in your action pose now. I know. I think I'm always in an action pose. <laughs> After three, let's just say what we what we feel in our like deep down. Right. Three, two, one. Action, action figure. figure. Dog school. Oh. <laughs> Have an action figure made of yourself, because that's Hollywood. Hollywood. The ultimate selfie, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's the ultimate. That's it's, sad. That what have sad. we become?